some of these mobilizations we can do with the patient inside lying as well. In a little bit, we're actually going to show some of the scapular muscle lengthening strategies that we can use. But if we're looking at getting that patient reaching their hand behind their back, we can do some of those mobilizations in order to assist with that. Now remember that the glenohumeral joint tends to be anterior. So we can work on mobilizing it posterior and have the patient reach their hand behind their back and see how far they can go and then come back. And then eventually you're going to decrease your pressure as you tell them, these are the muscles I need you to bring in. So you can have them imagine that and then get them to do it. This is again, you don't have gravity pulling down right now. So this is a mobilization with movement and then you'll pause. And then when he goes, let me, so go ahead and reach behind your back and stop. So this is where I feel him going anterior. This is when I can have him say, okay, can you tighten your muscles and push there? And then I can have him go a little bit further and then come back. So you can retrain that hand behind the back if you feel it's a neuromuscular control issue as far as getting the posterior cuff, getting the head of the humerus to come posterior as opposed to staying more anterior. Let's say that they have a flexion restriction. I can get them into that position and I can do that distraction. And I'll say, okay, can you raise your arm up? And I can do the stretching that way. I can get them into abduction or scaption, and I can mobilize them in sitting this way. I can work on external rotation. I can have them work on reaching their hand behind their back. I can have do a mobilization with movement at that point and see if I can get it further. I can also work on scapular mobility and see if that will help out as well. Anytime I do a mobilization with the patient in supine or side lying, they sit up and they get something to this effect. Because then the next step is them doing a home program, which will mimic either through imagery or through actual mobilize, you know, self-mobilization, reaching your hand across and pushing and now reach behind your back. It's a, you know, they have to actively participate. It's not a passive program for them.